Hello, I am Petro from Gulian Technology. In today's video I would like to show you how to configure VRRP on a Cisco router or switch. So make sure to watch to the end, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video and visit my website gulian.uk. Let's get started. VRRP stands for Virtual Router Redundancy Protocol. It can be used with IPv4 and also with IPv6. You can use v VRRP in a mixed in environment where you have devices from different vendors. You may ask yourself why you need VRRP. As you know, in order for any device to reach the internet and leave the local area network, it needs to have a default gateway configured. Usually the default gateway is a router. If a router is down, you will, need to be you will not be able to send traffic outside of your LAN. In order to increase the resilience within your network, you can add a second default ga gateway. However, as you may know, you cannot configure two default gateways on your operating system. In order to mitigate this issue and have a redundant default gateway, you need to configure some sort of first hop redundancy protocol. Cisco devices support three such protocols Hot Standby Router Protocol, Virtual Router Redundancy Protocol and Gateway Load Balancing Protocol. In this lab we will configure Virtual Router Redundancy Protocol. I, as you can see I am using Cisco modeling labs. If you want to follow alone you will need to uh, run the same lab in Cisco modeling labs or you can try to replicate it using real equipment. Here are the tasks that we need to configure in this lab. We need to configure VRRP for servicing the virtual IP address 172.16.10.254. We need to configure the uh, router R1 as a master VRRP router. We need to configure R2 as a backup VRRP router. After that, we need to configure the VRRP authentication, verify the VRRP and perform a VRRP failover to see if uh, how the PC is reaching the internet when one router fails. Okay, so let's go back to the configuration mode. Let's go to the command line to the CLI and start by configuring the router R R1. First I will run the show uh, the command show IP interface brief to show you the IP addresses that are currently configured on this device. As you can see the interface gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 is configured with the IP address 172.16.10.1 and the gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1 interface is configured with the IP address 10.10.10.1. We will configure the VRRP on the interface Gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0. So let's go to the global configuration mode by running the command conf terminal and let's go to the sub interface mode by running the command interface GI 0 slash 0. In order to uh, configure the VRRP router you need to run the command VRRP you can use the context-sensitive context help if you need. You need to specify a number as you can see for the uh, group number for the RRP. I will use the number 1 and if I press one more time for context-sensitive help we have the options here that we can configure with the RRP. In order to configure an IP address that will serve as the default gateway you need to add the option VRRP1 IP and specify the IP address that will be uh, considered the default gateway. In our case is 172.16.10.254 and I will press enter. In our guide it is mentioned that we need to be sure that R1 is the master VRRP router and R2 is the backup VRRP router. By default, uh, all routers in R have the default priority of 100. If two routers have the same priority, 
uh, configured on them. The master router is elected based on the highest IP address that is configured on the interface. On this router, as you saw earlier, the IP address is 172.16.10.1 and on router uh, R2, the IP address is 172.16.10.2. If I leave the configuration like this, the router R2 will be uh, selected as the VRRP master. But let's uh, check this together. I will go now to R2 and configure the same command. Okay? So I go to global config mode. I will go to interface GI 0 slash 0 and I will configure the VRRP1 IP. 172.16.10.254 and I will press enter and I will exit from the configuration mode. In order to verify the status of the VRRP you can run the command show VRRP and press enter and here we have the details. As I mentioned earlier because the router R2 has the show IP interface brief has the IP address 100, uh, a highest, uh, a higher IP address configured on the interface gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0, it was selected as the virtual, uh, it, uh, it was selected as a master router. So here we have the details. As you can see, state is master, the virtual IP address, which will be configured as the default gateway on, on our PCs, is 172.16.10.254. We have here the virtual MAC address, the advertisement interval, which is one second. We see that the preemption is enabled. What this means is that if uh, router R2 is, is going down or, or the interface is failing, R1 will be, um, will take the master, uh, will take the active role and will serve the uh, traffic for the will forward the traffic for, for the IP address 172.16.10.254. If the router R2, uh, uh, the issue related to the router R2 is solved and it can, comes back, it will take the master uh, role back because of the preemption. If preemption is not enabled, the R1 will continue to be a master router. But because preemption is enabled, R2 will take its uh, roll back okay so in the guide in the tasks we need uh, is mentioned that we need to be sure that uh, router r2 router r1 is the master vrrp in order to influence which router is elected as a master or backup you can configure the priority for the vrrp so let's get back to r1 and change the default priority so let me show you here the status of VRRP for this router. It is in a backup state, as you can see here, and we can see that the default priority is 100. So I will go to uh, global config mode, I will go to the interface mode, and I will change the default priority. So I will... I will change the priority to 110. As soon as I change the priority, we can check that this router took the uh, active role. It is the in a master state. It is the router which will forward traffic for the virtual IP address 172.16.10.254. We can confirm this on R2 also by running the command show VRRP. We can see that the router changed its state to backup and we can run also the same command here and we can see that on interface gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 group 1 the priority for this router is 100 the preemption is enabled and we can see that the uh, uh, 
router is a backup router. This is the master address which is configured on the interface gigabit 0 slash 0. This is the IP address of the master router which is the IP address of router R1 and here is the virtual IP address which is 172.16.10.254. Now let's check the connectivity from the PC to see if the PC is able to reach the internet. So I will run the command show IP interface brief. Uh, right now we have configured the IP address 172.16.10.100. If I try to ping the internet, I use the IP the IP address 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 to simulate the internet. This is the DNS Google DNS server. I use it as a simulation for the internet. As you can see right now, I am able to reach it. And if I perform a trace route command to see the path to this IP address, we'll see that it is taking the path through R1. Let's wait a couple of seconds. So here we have it. The IP address 172.16.10.1 is the IP address of R1 router of the interface gigabit 0 slash 0. So right now, when PC2 one and the PC is going to the internet, he is it is taking this path. Okay, because the virtual IP address is served by this router. Now let's simulate a failure. I will go to R1 and I will change the state for the interface gigabit 0 slash 0. I will shut down the interface and I will go to R2 to confirm that it, it is the master router and it is as you can see. If I go back to the PC to check the connectivity to the internet as you can see, I'm able to ping the internet in, and if I perform a trace route command, if I run a trace route command on 8.8.8.8, .8 .8 should show me that it is taking the path through R2. Let's uh, wait and confirm that this is true. So we see that uh, the first hop the IP address of the first hop is 172.16.10.2 which is the IP address configured on the interface GI 0 slash 0 on router R2. So we have the confirmation right now that the uh, traffic flow is flowing through R2 to reach the internet. Uh, and previously it, it, it took the path through R1. Let's check the guide and see which tasks we need to uh, configure. So we have configured the virtual IP address 172.16.10.254 and it is the default uh, IP address. It is the default router for the PC. We have configured R1 as a master VRRP router. We have configured R2 as a backup VRRP router. We influenced the master router by changing the priority on R1 from default priority 100 to 110. Now we verify that the VRRP is up and running and we performed a failover. We, it remains only to configure the VRRP authentication. Let's go back to the R1 and configure the authentication on for the VRRP. So I'll go to R1. I will enable back the interface by running the command no shutdown and I will run the command vrrp1 and I will use the context sensitive help. As you can see, if you want to uh, configure authentication, you need to use the option authentication here and you have the possibility to specify a plain text password or use an md5 hash. I will use uh, plain text password as Cisco by default it is the plain text authentication string and I will configure the password Cisco 
and I will exit from the configuration mode. I will run the command show VRP and I will press enter. In this output we can see that R1 is the master router, this is the virtual IP address, we see that the preemption is enabled, we see that the priority is 110 and we can see that authentication is configured for VRRP with the method text and the string used as a password is Cisco. Let's go now to R2 and check the VRRP status by running the command show VRRP. This router is uh, also in a master state. This is because uh, on this router we didn't configure the authentication. And because of this, uh, both routers believe that they are the master router and they uh, are servicing the IP address 172.16.10.254. In order to uh, correct this behavior, we need to configure the authentication for this router. So I will go to interface gigabit 0 slash 0 and I will configure the authentication here by running the command vrp1 authentication Cisco. I will exit from the configuration mode and I will check the vrp <coughs> status. Now we can see that uh, the router is uh, in a backup state and we can confirm that the authentication is also configured for VRRP. The authentication is text and the string is Cisco. Let's go back to the PC uh, to the PC to check the connectivity to the internet. I will run a pin command. As you can see, it's working fine. I will run a trace route command. This time the path should be to router R1, and it is. As you can see uh, right now, the path the traffic is flowing through the router R1. So this is where, uh, uh, all that I wanted to share with you. In this video you have learned how to configure VRRP on a Cisco router. You uh, found out how to uh, configure the authentication with the RRP, how to change the priority of RRP, and you you learned why you need the RRP in your network. I hope you found this video helpful. Please like and subscribe for more Cisco network tutorials. Thank you for watching and bye.